Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Farmong Two Players Afterworth Plus. Yeah, I wasn't actually expecting to be playing Guidia mode this late into the series. I was actually expecting to be playing Lost uh, and uh, trying to beat Delirium for most of the time, but we beat him in record speed, so, you know. <laughs> Very happy about that, but it also kind of takes the tension out of the runs that are at the later stages here. I was actually expecting to go like one last run, one, uh, you know, other run, and then take it from there. But I guess I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Like, I think Eve is the last character to beat Greedia mode with, and uh, then there's one more special achievement. Except for, you know, the, the last achievement that uh, I think that's how I'm going to try and do it is that um, we're going to leave the daily achievements until the very end. I think I've talked about that already. But uh, yeah, we are relatively okay on this run. We do have... Actually, we, we don't have perks for this room. It's just... Uh, we know the pill exists. But so far so good, we've only gotten hit once. Oops. Obviously, we should try and get, uh, oh fuck. <laughs> I was just gonna say, try and get Horror Babylon active as soon as possible, but I didn't necessarily wanna lose that health right away, so. Of course I get hit multiple times and force myself into it. But anyway. Um, since this is Curse of the Blind, I'd rather just buy the key. It's just as lo <laughs> Okay. I didn't have to buy the key, but, you know, whatever. Uh, this um, item is just as uh, random as the other ones that I can't actually identify. Ouija board. I'm maybe overvaluing that item very often uh and it does have its purposes definitely um but i think it's not as good on greed mode than it would be otherwise just gonna try and focus down there we go this poop monster now we can deal with uh, Ragman, who actually, this this uh, particular uh, incarnation of him doesn't really pursue me, so that was actually not not that bad for me. But yeah, uh, not as good. Uh, Ouija board is not as good here because uh, we don't have many environmental hazards. Usually, there are some, not as much. Fuck. Rather not die, thank you very much. <sighs> I'll take this, whatever. Sack of sacks could be great. I'm just taking this out of, uh, <laughs> out of desperation here, don't get me wrong. Like, I need something good. Having that extra red heart, I don't think would have been worth it. Of course, sack of sacks doesn't really give us much right now but could be great um if we can get the d20 or just in general it's, it's great to have more options with not just uh not just pennies will you please just <sighs> oh damage is pretty damn bad i just noticed Just do the ring around the rosy here. Nice. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this asshole. Moth avoid. Come on, get close. <laughs> you, you fucker. Okay, thank Christ. Actually, 
Hi, Bilal. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We got this. <laughs> okay, that was... I don't know if I shouldn't have, should have done that, but too late now. Of course, we should. Ooh, yeah. Let's get that into the truck. Very nice. That was actually really worth it. Um, <laughs> I bet high, and I won high, at least so far. No way. This way, though, is very nice. That's not how you say that. No, that's not at all how you say that. But uh, yeah, good thing we traded away that HP because now we can give free take the halo here. Really? Oh well. Yeah, this is um, could have ended very badly, <laughs> but Ma the Void uh, just having having selected that one before. Uh, before uh, the other one, which of course I didn't know what it was. Saved my ass. Now, I'm not really... Oh, fuck. The Yara rune is great though. Thing is, I'm not very confident in uh, using Maw the Void next to exploding enemies. See what I mean about sack of sacks? I'll try and uh, double everything maybe next. Two Yaras? Okay then! Couldn't believe my eyes for a second there. Four Devil cards. Two Empress cards. Okay. Might as well use this. For our boss wave. Careful about those dodges. Yep. As expected. I love how uh, when the mini bosses uh, when the mini mini bosses spawn instead of normal bosses. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's a lot of a lot of money. I. I think we've dug ourselves out of this. God damn. The extra black hearts even here are very welcome. Sweet. Of course these all these cars are gonna be the same. Except the ones coming from Saks, of course. Uh, I think the devil is more worth it. Because we already have the Empress, it's a it's our uh, static effect. So we take Synth Oil, of course. Um, we should bomb this to see what's up. Okay, not bad. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Don't we don't really need anything else, especially not. Uh, Curse of the tower and <laughs> the item room. Sometimes it could be good, but another year rune. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, yeah, I was gonna say about we can take breakfast here because we have the razor blade. I was gonna say about um, greed mode that I'm not really resenting playing it or having to play it for our achievements. But at the same, t come on. At the same time, ooh, card against humanity too. This will be fun. Um, okay, Ace of Hearts, Ace. Of okay, whatever. Hearts that I don't really need. We should use card against humanity in in our main. Uh, battle arena here just because there's more space but yeah in general about greedia mode 
it's a sometimes thing. Like, I like the idea of curating your run, but it's not the pure, the, not the pure is such a, an overused word and it doesn't really apply here, but it kind of dilutes the eyes experience what and why people like to play it. It's a different play style that is okay to play sometimes. I wish there were more incentives to playing it, god damn it. Uh, and I don't mean, but I don't, Okay, calm your tits. <laughs> it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Ah, fucking god damn it! I'm also trying to dodge the pennies here, which maybe I shouldn't do, shouldn't be doing. I really want that black heart, but I also want to fucking hell. I also want to duplicate it, but I don't think you have any choice here. I wish there was more, uh, more of a <laughs> guppy's head. Sure. It is good. I'd rather have guppy's head than razor blade. Good thing is that we'll be able to stock up on health just by virtue of having money. Yeah, so yeah, while I shoot this poop, I think there should be more incentive to play in greedy mode. Uh, and I don't want greedier or greed mode uh, dailies. There should be some other way of doing this. Let's see what. The nation machine, the reroll machine gives us. You can try for a good trinket. That's not a good trinket. <laughs> um, the D one. Did we ever have this item? I don't think so. Never really used it. I don't know what it did just now. <laughs> it's a hearts we should never use in here. Um. Yeah, let's just keep on shooting stuff and we duplicate it after afterward. And I, I don't really know how you could do that. Maybe by doing greed mode, you could... Ooh, petrified poop. Just in time. Maybe by doing um, uh, greed mode... You, oh, yeah. That pops them as well. Yeah, look at that. Um, okay. So, maybe however you're doing ingredient mode will let you like activate something in the normal game or whatever. I don't know. It's hard to say, actually. Maybe we could combine it with another mod. Uh, I'm thinking of that one mod that lets you draft items. Like, at the beginning of a run, you get the choice of a few items, and then you just pick the ones that you want to go with. And, you know, sometimes you can make, like, really, really cool synergies like that. And maybe you could add to that mod, let's say, for every time you play greed mode, you get a greed token akin to, you know, the Eden tokens. And for maybe every greed token, you get an extra item or two to choose from uh, when you draft stuff. That might be cool. It's tough. Like, I want to make uh, all the aspects of Isaac, I want to make them work. <laughs> so that you feel good about playing uh, all the different modes of Isaac. Down to the next drawer. Yeah, maybe you guys have better ideas. I'd love to hear them. This item sucks. This item's great. Some extra HP as well. Very nice. We'll take some more spirit hearts. Thank you. Um, Alright. Let's just blow everything up. 
Okay, why not? Let's take charge, baby. Um, I mean, we could go with a D Infinity, but I'm actually pretty happy with Guppy's head. We've had so many wins as uh, uh, with uh, re-roll items, especially in greed mode, that I'm like, yeah, we we don't have to use that if we don't literally uh, are required to because we <laughs> otherwise would not survive. Yeah, saw that one coming and didn't do anything anyway. There we go. You guys are jerks. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Good thing we have black hearts. Yeah, for me, like. I'm looking for something that is similar to, like, the dailies, because that's just perfect for Isaac, in my opinion. That keeps me coming back. And I've, <laughs> I've been actually itching to play the dailies. Oh yeah. Definitely take the fire rate up. And, uh... Oh, <laughs> God damn it! I was thinking I could maybe get it before... It actually blows up, but whatever. Ooh, and there's... No, there's not spawn. There's no spawn because we didn't get... Uh, Roid Rage. My bad. <laughs> Careful. Jesus. Here's my most hated boss. With the <laughs> the mysterious hitbox. It's in there somewhere. Come on. Whatever. Okay. Might as well keep going right away. Of course we're missing Horror Babylon now and I've I've you know <laughs> that decision was my own, like I wasn't uh Oh that was charged baby, thank you very much. Uh but I think the HP is worth it for that. The Fred can be a problem. If you can't stand directly in front of him. Can one of you please die? <laughs> Look, I I'm just I'm just gonna let roll a baby handle it, okay? I was disparaging you, Robo Baby, and now that's your chance to finally redeem yourself. <laughs> I don't know why this this particular Mr. Fred fight is really annoying to me. Probably to you too, because it takes a fucking lifetime to finish. Apparently, did that? No, they're both still alive. What the hell? At least it's predictable, right? Where the hell are you? Wow, they must be both, like, almost dead. Look at that. <laughs> ah. 
And ever since that first deal with the devil, we've been kind of uh, shafted. I don't really want to take any of these. Let's go downward. Oh, greed mode. I'm not gonna miss you. Not that much. Child of Empire could be very good. In the range upgrade. D100. <laughs> the game really wants me to reroll, it seems. And. I mean, maybe it's worth it to do that. There's the second guppy item. Maybe it's worth it buying the D100 just for safety, but I'm really sick of rerolling. And we're not that bad. The odd mushroom damage downgrade might have been more than I was willing to to uh, give away there. I'm not taking Crooked Penny. This item is garbage in greed mode. I've looked it up, by the way. It's not as bad as I initially thought. Um, basically, what it does is... Uh... Fuck me. What it does is uh, it gives you... Every time you use it, you have a 50-50 chance of duplicating everything in the room. But if you don't, then um, everything gets turned into one penny without you being able to uh, uh, retrieve it. The problem with that is that, you know, in normal mode, that's fine. You can... Uh, you can... Uh, Anybody? I thought. Fuck me. Sorry about that. That was a dumb mistake. Um, in normal, that's fine because you can just go to another. You can get m multiple opportunities to make it work, but in greedy mode, the shop is so fucking important. It's actually pretty good. That uh, if you use it on the shop, that's like a major risk and you don't want to do that. But the cool thing is about the item, and that's something I didn't know about. Um, if you get an item, you take it uh, on a pedestal, and then you use Cricket Penny, then you get a chance of duplicating that pedestal. See? Um, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Um, because we've already uh, taken the items and the pen pedestals are gone. And it has questionable use, anyway. So... And it's also still a 50-50 chance to get something extra. God damn it. I'm losing way too much health. I shouldn't have re-rolled the 100. I forsook our shit, our savior. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with these deals? I mean, I know it's wrong. Just don't want to believe it. Give me something good. Need the HP. God damn it. Okay. <sighs> Eve, oh Eve. This is our last chance to get something going here. Uh, the left hand might be our final chance of getting something. Like, becoming Guppy, basically, is our last ditch effort here. Fuck. Because we could get uh, red chests from the sacks, you know? Oh, God. We could get... Fucking, um... The extra HP from, uh... Cracker Jacks. 
I don't know if I want to. This run is in a downward spiral, blah, spiral folks. Unlimited bombs at least. Getting a little bit overwhelmed. But we're managing it more or less. Okay. At least I thought you could get uh, red chests from uh, from the sacks. I might be wrong. The other thing we could do is maybe just keep buying cards if there are any on the shop in hopes of getting a full health card the sun or something like that thank you for dying fuck Whatever. It's one more HP we can't actually fill. This crew should give us a little bit extra. Blood Clot gets us a little bit extra. Binky actually gives us a significant tears upgrade. Hmm. I was thinking of skipping this, uh, this one, but... Uh, I think I need to deal with the devil. This is the shittiest phase on any greed mode run. It's always the same one, but... Therefore, you can actually game it a little bit. But I think we need to deal with the devil. Or maybe even... Oh, God. Full health pill. Perks pill! Perks could be really good. Oh, man. Might as well buy this. Keep buying, because <laughs> we can't. This is horrible. <laughs> okay. Great, thank you. I don't know, guys. It's not like this is lost, by the way. But I don't think I'm good enough at greedier mode to uh, to be very sure of this uh, of this outcome here. I mean, Mob the Void can still help us a lot, actually. If, and only if, we can, uh, we can kill uh, everything with Maw the Void that we possibly can, then that could help. But otherwise, it's just going to be a very tough boss fight. I mean, I should be confident since we just finished the loss, but at the same time, of course, I I took a break from it, from the game a little bit, and I was like, yeah, finally, we can start going for the, uh, at least going for the rest of the achievements because, you know, the hardest ones are gone. Too aggressive. Way too aggressive. I mean, perks helps for sure. God damn it! 
Okay. Could always leave one of those keys behind. That one worked. <sighs> Not my finest hour. But this is a starved run, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot. We had Shaun of the Vampire. Okay. Just don't stand so close. Shaun of the Vampire gives you guaranteed healing. Uh, depending on the amount of things you kill. Thank you, Charged Baby. Nice, nice. Give me that health back. Yeah! Holy crap, this is actually working. <laughs> Thus far, though, like, we won't have as many minions in the next phase, or add any at all. Okay. Actually, right at where we started, almost. Actually, have a uh, half a uh, black card more, and okay, I guess that was one of the coins that got destroyed. Thank you very much. Let's see him, but. The range of those bombs still confounds me. This is a real endurance test. He also keeps healing himself with those freaking coins. I mean, it is sort of working. Even in this phase. Thank you, that was not bad. We do get the occasional black hearts from this. Should get the dime, but ah, thank you for not killing me. Slowly but surely, I guess. Holy crap. Damn it.
yeah, looks like we're going to win this. <laughs> I had no confidence in myself whatsoever. Holy crap. Yeah. Lifesteal for the win, I guess. Although, <laughs> I did make it a little bit close in the end there. We are not crow heart. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> That's it, everybody. Super greed. There's no more. Or ultra, ultra greed. Whatever. Down he goes. And we actually brought the greed donation machine to over 555. Five, five. Not quite 666, six, six, but you know, you can't have everything. He keeps taking it too. Yeah, maybe the greed donation machine could unlock something for the main game. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.